What's up, everybody? Today, I'm here with my good friend, Josh. Welcome, Josh. Oh, thank you for having me. Thank you for coming, brother. If you don't know Josh, he is a professional chef, also an author, and also a professional boxer, Josh. I, I would take the word professional out of it. Yo, I'll be honest with you. I've trained a lot of people, and not a lot of people make my arm hurt, and you did, so. Could we see maybe one day Josh versus Jake Paul? Jake Paul, I know you can't cook a steak. Come cook this steak. I don't know what that means. Without that being said, our goal today is to cook $1 steak and take it all the way up to $2,500 steak. Enough talking, let's get to cooking. Let's do it, baby. Big meat. Isn't big better? Yeah, it is. Oh my God. What's the main problem you have with this cut? It tastes good, it's just not tender enough. Unlike this one here, um, you had picanha, what would you describe picanha? I love it. The flavor is great. Ideally, I would want this frozen or par frozen in order to slice it thin, but I'm gonna do my best to slice it thin raw. Wait, I got liquid nitrogen. Why does Guga have uh, liquid nitrogen? I have a lot of problems with what's going on right now. Have you worked with liquid nitrogen before? Yes, but who, this is not normal. Why not? <laughs> hold up, hold up. What's that look like? That looks like two cheeks, man. This is a family friendly channel, everybody. What's going on over here? Okay. <laughs> you want something frozen? I'll give it to you, Josh. It worked. All right, uh, I just need a meat slicer to slice this bad boy. You come to Guga's house, we got everything. <laughs> meat slicer. Done. It's not gonna look that pretty, but it's gonna taste good. So a picanha should be nice and small, and I always like to leave a little bit of fat. Very important. Only salt with this, nothing else. As traditional as it gets. Always clean after you touch your meat, right? We're all, we all clean after we touch our meat, right guys? Damn right. So I don't need this whole onion. So I want this to get color. color. I almost wanna burn it a little mm. bit. Bring out the charred flavors of the onion. What do you, how do you feel about char? I love char. It's a very misunderstood thing. I love char. I bet you get comments sometimes people being like, that's burnt, that's burnt. But they don't know what the hell you're talking about. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Shut up. Anyway, all right, got some Thai chilies for a little bit of heat. I hope you like it spicy. Yes, but not too much because they all know that me and spice, we don't get along. But I got the onions charred, I got Thai chilies in there that I'm gonna char a little bit. <coughs> Whoa, you all right? That's when you know it's good. How do you like the height of my microwave? Why is it so high? Because I'm real big. The hell? All right, so that <coughs> fucking hell. <laughs> You're right, God, damn. Ugh. Okay, so a little bit of Chinese cooking wine in here. Now boil that down. God damn. <coughs> oh, <sh> there it is, <coughs> baby. Right. That's how you know it's good, baby. Yeah. Are oh, you recording me? <coughs> Yo, it's not easy out here, bro. We're gonna add some lime juice to this. Okay, just to give it a little freshness. Also calm down the Thai chilies a little bit. <clears throat> I know it's aggressive in here, but the Thai chilies really mellow with the sweetness of everything and all that other bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard anybody cough like that. That's the thing, Google really lets it out. He's an emotional man, you know? Most people that when they, <coughs> when they cough, they just go, <coughs> you know, like that. But Google, he lets it out. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> You've done something no one's ever done to me, Josh. You changed my voice. <laughs> Congratulations. It's done. That's it. Can That's I it. taste, taste? <laughs> sure you want to? Yeah, yeah, of course I want to. I see. Oh, come on. It's great. That's delicious. <laughs> see, you see, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Take your meat. Pour your marinade right on top. You wanna to make sure the marinade is touching every single crevice. You can see how thin this is, how it's starting to fall apart. That's, that's what I want. Now I say it's enough talking, so let's do it. So what I like to do first is put a nice sear on the steak, because there's one thing I hate in steaks, is grill mark that is very pronounced. The whole goal is for me to maintain this golden brown color without burning. If I would have focused on the grill grate, it would have just been completely yeah. burnt. I mean, take a look at this one, Josh. What do you think? Ooh, beautiful, beautiful. So what I do is I grab both steaks. I put one on top of the other like so, and I just like very, very baby it, you know? Nice golden brown collar. How do you like your steak, Josh? So it should be medium rare, but uh, you know, if you like it well done, then you should And I want you to take lighter fluid and 
and enjoy your well done steak. I guess medium rare is better. Yeah. Got a crust, now we'll cover it up and let it come to temp. It's your little grill on the hot grill. It's hot as shit. That's what you want, right? Oh yeah. The meat is very thin. Because it's thin, it's gonna cook very quickly. All right, boom. Now the char is happening, we take everything, bring it together. Mm. We're gonna perfume the meat with its own smoking fat. Boom, done, immediately. Just like that. And you're gonna do the same thing. Now we plate. Nice bowl. First you're gonna add some rice. Steamed rice, this is short grain. Oh. Uh, it's fine. We got our beef, which I actually added a little bit of your butter and tossed it in there. Oh. A little bit of green onion, just a touch those guys. And that's my take on a $1 steak. All right, let's dig in, Josh. Here we go, baby. Looks great. Now with this rice. Mm. Cheers. Mm. That's great. That might honestly be the best application for our round. You'd have no idea. Winner, winner. $1 steak dinner. Picanhas are done, everybody. And this is what I like, Josh. A nice even out color, a nice golden brown. Looks great. Let's cut it open. And nice medium rare. This is how we do it all the time in Brazil. How does it taste? Talk to me. Mmm, beautiful. Fantastic, it's cooked wonderfully. This is my jam, bro. Yeah, salt levels are really nice. So the big thing with steak, obviously we all have the argument of, should it just be salt and pepper? Should we add other things? If it's a good cut of beef and it's seasoned properly, it doesn't really get that much better than that. It is what it is and the fl let the flavor shine the way that it should. And this is nice and you get that charcoal flavor, it's charred. It's a good ass steak. Good, time for the next one. Are you ready? What's the next one? Expensive meat. <laughs> My meat's always been expensive. Mine isn't. So this is an Australian Wagyu. This is one of my favorite meats because it's the perfect ratio of fat and meat. But you, my friend, have something extremely special. I wanted to present that to you. Wow. It is an olive Wagyu, Japanese Wagyu A5 filet mignon. I've tried a lot of meat, Josh, and this one has been the best of the best. I'm gonna make it special. I'll make it special. Oh, I know you Maybe will. Maybe a little fancy. Oh, just a little. Let's begin. I'm gonna square it off because I want it to be nice and evenly shaped. So I cut it in a nice little cube. It's expensive, it's full of fat, so that's the ratio we're working with. Yours and then this. We got oil, this is just vegetable oil. It's really, 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 really hot. Probably around 350 Fahrenheit. You're gonna pour that hot oil in there. So in essence, you're making like a chili oil. Like a chili oil. Mm. Oh, sh oh, sh oh, oh, Papa's kiss. Papa's kiss, so sorry. So mine, I'm gonna keep it real simple, Josh, because I, you know, I wanna respect the beef. So what I like to do is first, I'm gonna start with this little bit of fat. So, I'm gonna render a little bit of that fat. All right, I'm putting my steak in essentially dry, because that Wagyu fat's obviously gonna instantly melt, create a little crust for me naturally. Okay, so I've rendered a little bit of that fat, now I'll use that, and I'm just gonna lay down my steak, and then, Oh, golden brown, baby. Beautiful. Love it. As I'm getting that sear, I'm gonna lower my temperature down a little bit, and then I'm gonna go in with the traditional butter, thyme, garlic. Woo! And we'll baste. As I was basting, we got a nice, beautiful color on the other side as well. I'm still getting all my corners. I'm searing every single corner on this bad boy. My entire goal here is to make sure I don't burn that butter. I'm throwing in some garlic, some green onion, a couple bay leaves, butter. My butter is getting a little bit dark because this pan holds way more heat than yours. Yep. I'm basting. There's the fire alarm. Oh fire yeah. Fire alarm's going. First time ever in Google Foods house, everybody. <laughs> and then I don't want this butter to go to waste, everybody. We're just gonna just throw it right on top of the steak there. Now, right now is the time to take the temperature. If it's missing a little bit, stick it in the oven until it reaches 135. Steak's done. I like to remove the tip first. And then I'm just gonna fan it out. I'm gonna just Lay it down on the plate. And there's no way I'm letting that garlic go to waste. Mm -hmm. And of course, a little bit of that butter that we just made right now with thyme, garlic. Mm -mm -mm. And that's my take on a $500 steak. Kind of traditional. Yeah. What do you think, Josh? Steak is cooked literally perfectly. I mean, it is gorgeous. Look at this. Mm. Does it wiggle, wiggle? Oh my God. Yeah? <laughs> How does it taste, Josh? Egg butter. The flavor's unreal. So I should tell you something, everybody. If you've never had this steak, just do it. You will thank us later. Agreed. Put it on like that. Make it nice and even. Okay, so we're gonna take the yogurt. This is what's called a quenelle. And just do a little divot. Okay, so I've got my oil that I made earlier. And I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of that oil. And I'm gonna pour it into that divot. That's my take on a $2,500 steak. 
You're gonna take this. Okay. Take a little scoop. See, I'm getting a little bit of the oil in there too. Yeah. Boom, and then try that. Ooh, let's see. Ooh. How do you describe that? I have a word. Orgasmic. Whoa. Good job, Josh. Give me five. Thank you for coming, Josh. I appreciate it. Oh, it was a pleasure. It was amazing. I got to eat steak all day. How can I? I, I know, it was it was fantastic. Thank you, brother. Not only that, the hunt that Josh did. I'm gonna say it right now, Josh. <laughs> you, you look like a badass, bro. I, I was <laughs> myself, but I don't know that I would say I was a badass. If you guys haven't seen that video, you should definitely check it out. It is fantastic food. But I think the entertainment value on that one, whoo! Yeah, it's unreal. It's by far one of the craziest things I think I've ever done on my channel, and it was with you. Hey, I'm so happy to be a hey. part of it, brother. Honored to have you, really. Here's what I like to say every time we do a collab. Once it's done, we are friends for life. Oh, does that mean we get to kiss now, or? No, no, we don't do that. <laughs> Just kidding. We'll do that when the cameras are off. <laughs> guys, go check out Josh's channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.